here I'm training a language model, large language model, but it's a bit different. I just give it two numbers and the two tokens, five and three, and it needs to predict eight, the result. In this simple version, we can really go into attention mechanism, into the feed forward network and understand what is it learning? How is it learning? So I copied the code and the output. You see here output, uh, we have actually good predictions. So it's predicting uh, nine instead of eight, that's good, it's learning. It's predicting 13 instead of 10, that's good, 100 here, correct. And uh, 100, minus 100 plus 100 is zero, but it predicted six, so it's actually pretty good. I copied all of the code and I copied this output and then I told Sonnet 4.0 to create hypothesis on what this LLM is learning. And then to give me hypothesis, I'm gonna give feedback and approve, and then it's gonna write code to test those hypotheses. I feel like uh, Opus 4.1 thinking gives better suggestions, for example, uh, better hypothesis, for example, uh, feed forward networks learn to approximate the magnitude of results rather than exact computation. Early attention layers primarily attend to fixed positions, first number, second number equals sign, because we also have equal sign as one of the uh, tokens rather than values. And it could be that middle layers group numbers by magnitude ranges, small negative, small positive, large positive. So these are all good ideas. Now we need to write code to test them. So first we see some pictures. After some analysis, A pays attention to itself. Uh, B pays attention to itself mostly, but to A as well, because uh, it doesn't see anything in front. And then uh, equals pays attention to itself, but then to these two. So this is a bit wasteful. First of all, I think we don't need equals to pay attention to anything. This should not be a token at all. Second of all, we don't need uh, B to pay attention to A because B is not actually yes 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 we need this we need this so we have B pay attention to A ah this is the problem with attention mechanism so attention is going to decide how much of which thing in front it's going to take and blend information but for addition, everything is equally important, every uh, number in front, if we have multiple numbers adding up. So we just need to take information from everything. This is not like language model where for some context, some tokens, some tokens are more important. For addition, everything is equally important. So I guess attention is not suitable for this. And then this is interesting. For example, number a second number will pay a lot of attention to first numbers sometimes 80 percent 68 percent and then equals actually pays very little attention to a so it takes just a bit of information from a and then a lot of information from itself and from number uh, from b second number so this shows why attention is not suitable for this task because we, we just need like all of the information from all of the, both of the numbers, or at least equal amount, or at least not so little information. The analysis of Opus is the following. Uh, the problem is in early and late layers, model heavily attends to equal sign, but that has no numerical information. So I don't even know why we have equal sign as a token. Then we have some of the heads, one, two, five, and six out of eight total. These four attend to equal sign 99%, so they ignore actual numbers entirely, which is not good. Then we have some heads that learn some patterns. For example, head three, 97% attention to first operand for opposite signs, if first and second have opposite signs. And then, uh, so this is layer one, head three. And then layer two, head two, 99% attention to second operand for opposite signs. So these heads focus on specific positions for specific patterns. And then 25% of heads have more even distribution across all positions and actually try to combine information. Because this is what attention mechanism is supposed to do. It's supposed to blend and combine information. 
So uh, as layers go on, in later layers, model increasingly ignores A, the first operand, which is not good. So attention learns position patterns, not arithmetics. So for these two completely different cases, 50 plus 50 and 5 plus 95, uh, they attend to B 50% equal 40% and A 10% and almost same uh, attention here. But these are completely different cases. So uh, it could suggest that model is learning about pattern, about positions, not about like arithmetics. Look at this. Uh, this layer five head five actually puts zero attention to numbers. All of the attention to uh, equal sign except here where it puts attention to numbers. But also there is uh, this concept of attention sync. So maybe actually this equal sign is useful because sometimes they don't want to put attention to numbers or they don't want to put whole attention to numbers. So they can just waste their attention uh, to um, equals. And this is maybe a good thing. That's what happens in the beginning of sentence token to the beginning of sentence token in attention mechanism in language models. And that's useful. So maybe this equal is actually useful and we have different problems. Although we do have a lot of attention syncing here, for example, for opposite signs, if numbers have opposite signs, it puts so much attention to A. This is interesting, but uh, it needs a lot more research. It, for example, also has some heads that activate when A and B are equal. So they attend strongly to both of the numbers. But this is the issue. Attention only determines what to look at. So that's the issue with attention. It doesn't have a computing mechanism. So no built-in way to perform arithmetic operations. Now I want to test actual real LLM. So I'm just telling Opus, Cloud Opus, uh, to give me hypothesis for the attention mechanism. I'm using Novita AI. They have cheapest uh, GPU cards. If you just enable spot billing when you choose the cards, it's 50% off. Uh, 18 cents per hour for 14.90. So I analyzed actual LLM and I trained it just a bit, but you can see some patterns start to form. Uh, early layers have high entropy, broad exploratory attention, middle layers, lower entropy, focus specific attention, and final layers, moderate entropy, uh, balanced attention for output. The model progressively refines its focus, becoming more selective in middle layers where key computations likely occur. Then we have some heads attending, attending to tokens back, further back in the sequence. For example, layer 1 head 6, layer 0 head 5, and layer 0 head 6. Then we have some heads who are gathering global context most likely. Then we have some heads that recognize and copy patterns from earlier in the sequence. I'm not exactly sure which patterns and what, what this means. So we can see that even with five to seven minutes of training on very small architecture on 1490 GPU, there are already specialized patterns and heads are developing different patterns. That will be check out my videos here and check out my courses here, learning to code GPT-5, Gwen-3, Llama-4 and DeepSeq-V3 from scratch. It's in this GitHub repository. See you next time.